I am delighted to hear that the Supreme Court has given me protection from arrest. The Supreme Court of India has rejected Arnab Goswami's plea that all the hate speech FIRs that have been filed against him should be quashed. However, they did give him relief from arrest for three weeks so that he can apply for anticipatory bail. Since multiple cases were filed against Arnab for the same thing, the Supreme Court decided that instead of all these multiple FIRs, one case would be sufficient. The case that was filed against him in Nagpur was shifted to Mumbai and it will now take its course. Arnab Goswami will be tried for hate speech for the comments that he made on his show on Republic TV about Sonia Gandhi saying that she would celebrate the death of the Hindu sadhus who were lynched at Palgar and that she would receive appreciation for it from Italy. And no, it was not just because he referred to her by her original name Antonia Maino as it is being shared on social media. Bukul Rohadgi, the advocate who represented Arnab Goswami, told the Supreme Court that there was nothing communal about the comments that Arnab Goswami made. However, the Supreme Court decided to club all the multiple FIRs that have been filed against him into one single one and has also directed the Mumbai police to make sure that Arnab Goswami and his family are kept safe and not attacked in the future. Arnab has welcomed the Supreme Court's decision to grant him three weeks time to apply for anticipatory bail. He said that his freedom of expression and journalism has been upheld by the Supreme Court of India. He put out a video speaking about this. Take a look at what he said. I am delighted to hear that the Supreme Court has given me protection from arrest. I am deeply grateful to the Supreme Court for also upholding my constitutional right to report and broadcast and to, for defending my freedom of expression and my freedom as a journalist. As you all know, there have been over 150 FIRs that have been filed by the Congress party in a clear attempt to intimidate me and my network from reporting especially on the Palghar incident. I am very grateful that the Supreme Court has not allowed the Congress party to harass and intimidate me and my network by filing hundreds of cases, especially, especially in states which are Congress ruled. As you are all aware, Congress leaders have been intimidating me and have been threatening me with physical violence. I am deeply grateful that the, Cong that the Supreme Court has noted the violent assault on me and my wife, Samya Brata Ray, editor of Republic, day before night. Let us know in the comments what you think about all of this. Do share this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, India Thinks for More. This is Dishan Sampri Chilkuri.